future topic. And I want to remind everybody again that this program is being recorded, live streaming on YouTube, and the recording will be on uh, YouTube also. If you do not want to be recorded, uh, either your image or your voice, uh, please turn off your video. And uh, during the course of the um, session, you could ask questions uh, by typing into the chat. Thank you so much. Here's Henry. Thank you a lot for the excellent opportunity to the uh, symbolism and the cultural background of uh, the subject matters that we're going to learn today. That uh, um, is part of the, the, um, uh, the program we um, focus on the Lake Autumn customs uh, in, in China. Um, Besides uh, the mooncake, uh, another delicacy uh, food uh, we consume uh, during this season is very seasonal, is the crabs. Um, and you know, has uh, explained uh, in, in detail uh, about uh, the uh, crabs and uh, uh, the symbolism, and uh, uh, it has to do with the name. I'm not going to repeat. Also, the, the wine, uh, that why you would drink wine in Chinese uh, traditional medicine, we believe it's an yin yang complementary uh, com you know, balance of cool and warm. And also ginger uh, and uh, vinegar and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so be before we paint the uh, crabs, I'd like to uh, review. Maybe, uh, I, I guess many of you have learned. Uh, the uh, chrysanthemum flower. They are uh, the symbol of autumn also, uh, and it's a, a favorite uh, among the four gentlemen, so-called, uh, the classical themes. Um, the, the four gentlemen is, is like uh, um, uh, the, f the foundation of all Chinese uh, brush painting techniques. So if you learn the uh, how to paint uh, bamboo orchid, plum blossom, and uh, chrysanthemum. You should be well established uh, to do any other um, flower and, uh, flowers and plants without problem. Um, so first of all, we will we will review uh, what we how we do the flowers, of, uh, how we draw the petals. Um, if it's a white flower or yellow flower, uh, we usually draw the uh, outlines first. Uh, in this example painting, uh, thank one of our participants, uh, Pin Huang, uh, in our class. Uh, Pin's mother did this painting. In a, uh, published in a wonderful uh, painting collection book, which will be used as a uh, uh, reference in our next series as well. So we will we'll start to uh, use it to today. Uh, we'll continue uh, next week with, uh, from the same book. Uh, her, her name is Guo Xiuyi. She's a uh, uh, the last student, among the last student of Qi Bai Shi, the Grand Master Qi Bai Shi. Um, and this painting is uh, actually, uh, she, she created on her own. In many of her, her paintings, it, it was uh, a copy uh, learning, uh, learning, uh, learning, uh, learning, uh, learning process. It's a copy process. Of the uh, this one, I, I think she created, and it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful painting. Uh, so in this painting, we'll, uh, let's let's say we should have time to, to practice a little bit. I think so. Let's uh, let's just do uh, some practice. So without considering uh, the uh, uh, the composition yet, let, let me let me let me go to last page uh, to some, to see some steps of painting chrysanthemum first. Okay, where's my handles? So if you, if you print it out, so it, it will be on this 
this last page, I got the, uh, the elements of uh, painting. These are done by uh, me and my teacher. The, f the first five on this page are done by my teacher, Zhang Zhenyi. The last one I, I did for my class back in the 1990s. Um, so uh, we did it, we start from the center of the flower. Uh, let me just draw, let me see if you can see my, yeah. You, you should dry the brush quite well, because this is a very absorbent paper, Confucius shown the, the student. So I, I did first stroke, it was blurry. So then I draw it a little bit. So you can draw, uh, uh, like four petals, let's say, just uh, don't have to be the same length. The top and bottom could be shorter, and the, the side could be longer. And then, um, if you look at uh, my handout the, on the left, uh, on the right corner, uh, there's this diagram. I, I, I look at like a, uh, you draw, you do it again here. You draw four directions like this. And notice the way I, I use the brush. Okay, it's from outside in on the left. So like a, um, you start with a heavier pressure and then lift, and then you can leave uh, you can leave a little gap. You, you don't have to repeat like a, making a cross. You know, some artists do that, but uh, it's a style. Um, so you don't have to start from the same point to avoid a heavy uh, a heavy blob or something a little uh, like here you know you can you can leave a little space between the two strokes okay and then the second layer you, you insert uh, between the, f the first you don't have to be just a one it could be you know if there's a big gap like here you can you can draw uh, more. And notice that I don't change my brush and position like a, like I don't have to do this 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 side in this way and this side that no don't bother that I just hold the brush like uh, in the same position you can use your left hand if you will but just keep that position and then um, on 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 this opposite side you just draw from uh, inside out so it's a it's a uh, alternation of uh, nail head, you start heavy, and uh, teardrop, right? So you start light and then uh, press down. So you understand? So on this side, it's different on this side. So they, they always have a heavier, um, if you look at the real pedal of a uh, Chrysanthemum, there's a, like a little tube, right? So the, the, there's, there's a little heavier on the end of the pedal. And you should have an imaginative uh, center, like a uh, divided from, uh, from, the, the, that, from the, the center point. Um, so this is, this is the basic idea. But in reality, the flower may look uh, in more in a perspective, so not so flat. And, unless they are fully bloom uh, before they, they, uh, sh they fade. So the, uh, we, we in Shi Bai Shi's painting, uh, our, um, let me see if I can show this image on the side. Anyway, uh, we can go back to that, uh, that painting, this painting here. So if you look at this painting, there's uh, one pa uh, flower on the lower left, uh, it has the center in, in exposed um, kind of a, with, with a little uh, dark, right? Dots, they're like pawnings or, or uh, seeds, whatever. Uh, but in most cases, they, they, you don't see the center. So it's hidden. And you can, you can have the center uh, more like a like like a, like this, you know. So you don't have to paint the. If it's inside of you, uh, you you may have a, a multi-layer, you know, something like like that. Just the, and then you just add 
on top of the uh, uh, log of the first uh, center layer. It, it, they, they are not the same uh, like a daisy flower. The, the petals uh, is quite long, and this uh, so there there may be like this in the in, this, in the middle. It's it's about uh, it's a shorter uh, like like, like uh, if it's this this long, and the other petal is it's bigger. If you look at uh, from the top, the uh, the center is more dense and shorter, and then the uh, the radiate to the side it becomes not longer. Some uh, many chrysanthemum, the outer shape is like crab. You know, they, it's probably they have a name uh, called crab chrysanthemum. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, we also need to think they are they are more like a. a a sphere or a um, bowl or something like that. Uh, so it's rounded. It's rounded. Um, if you if you shade it, you know, you, you may see what I mean. I have a I have a uh, watercolor painting I did uh, with uh, more of that idea. I, I forgot to bring it. Uh, maybe later in the class, uh, it's downstairs on my wall. So I, I, I didn't do the petals, I just painted the sphere and it looked uh, pretty uh, much like, uh, and then you can just have a little, little uh, shape. So that, that's the whole uh, solo weight, you know, if we, we should keep in mind the sh sphere, okay. So you can also, uh, many artists, uh, uh, like a cheap actually, when we do the the red flowers for yellow and white, we draw the, the outline. But uh, uh, for uh, like a colored, I will just demo with the ink. So you can actually put some light ink like this, or um, or not just you know paint the entire uh, shape in one tone. You can leave. You can leave. Uh, you can use some uh, like a uh, uh, light pink. Uh, I just use water to, to demo the, the idea. Uh, just you know, put a, put up a, you know, a little a little shading, just like uh, you was, you know how you start with the watercolor. You put a little light, right? and then uh, when it's halfway dry, maybe I have to use iron <laughs> because don't have time to wait. Uh, Halfway dry, and then you you add uh, darker color. Oops, got dirt on that. Uh, so you, you do the light first, halfway dry, and then you use a pure uh, like a rouge color or or uh, carmine or a combination of the of both uh, to to draw. So the the initial uh, the initial shading is uh, uh, is smaller than the than the size of the flower. So th this is uh, what uh, um, we we could also do. So you start from light um, and then dark, but the dark has to be very strong to create a contrast. Unless uh, you're you're good at uh, uh, you know the contemporary or uh, Western uh, style and you want it to be more uh, watercolor-ish, uh, you, can, you, can, you can paint the light or the shape. But normally we don't, we don't uh, really concerned, we're not concerned with uh, the lighting factor, uh, the shading factor. But there, there's uh, always uh, the idea of all to or what. <laughs> the Chinese characters it actually it uh, explains itself. The Chinese the concept in Chinese uh, besides yin yang we also have this um, dark and light uh, or bumpy uh, bump like a, a concave con convex some something pop something um, convex. So this is this is the idea. Um, it's similar to yin yang idea. We do have that, but we don't consider the uh, single 
light source. If you look at the painting, we, we can see some uh, light feathers pop. That's two. And then, uh, uh, how do you say that? Uh, dark, like a uh, like a hollow uh, part. That, that's a wah. Yeah. Oh, wah. Wah, too. Or oh, all, too. It's different pronunciation. Maybe my di dialect is just uh, out. Wah, too, too, maybe. Some some people will say that. Anyway, um, let me let me uh, let me do the upper part uh, first. Oh, then we will. Let me see. I think this painting may be done by. Uh, yeah, I think she probably did the the crab in the in the plate first, and then uh, added to the background. This kind of painting is not simply um, what we know uh, we call in Western painting a still life arrangement of a, um, a still uh, flowers, uh, you know, in a vase. So, uh, it's a in Chinese painting we call this kind of flowers uh, cut branches, zhe zhi, cut cut stems. By cut, uh, we don't physically cut it. We we select, you know, from maybe a real flower in a garden or flower in a pot. We don't do the pot. Uh, we don't have to cut it from pot or garden. Uh, we just uh, cut it in our mind. You know, select that to, to take it to uh, make it part of the painting. So you you you're more free than still life. But the, you know, it's the uh, same idea. It's a uh, uh, we call it the qing gong. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, like a sacrifice uh, I before an altar. That kind of uh, um, to celebrate an uh, occasion. Uh, it's a, you know usually a ritualistic uh, painting uh, celebrating season or festivals like qing gong tu. Qing gong. I don't I I don't know uh, how to translate exactly. It's a uh, Gong means uh, sacrifice, offering, offerings, yeah, like uh, offerings of in the new year or something like that. It just, uh, um, anyway, so if we, uh, let's just do a flower without a crab and then we'll do a crab, okay? Um, let's, let's see if I have, have a sample simpler than that. I know some, some people may not like to paint uh, crabs. They don't understand why crabs with the flowers. Read the article we sent to you. You email. You probably will learn something interesting. Uh, but if you are not in the culture, you you don't understand. You don't have to paint the crabs with the flowers. So and that's why I'm um, showing you the flowers without the crabs first. Then we'll do the authentic uh, uh, mid autumn scene. Um, I don't think it's uh, vermilion. It should be. Let me just put all the red here, so it would be useful. Uh, we got vermilion. We got uh, scarlet. We got uh, rouge. We probably use rouge for the flowers. It's a kind of cool. Um, on on the uh, left, the you know, on the left, the the. There's a, there are um, prints. I think com or computer edited. They got some uh, c vibrant color that's probably more than the original. Um, and it's a it's a wood block wood block print duplicates. So uh, it looks a little stiffer, but um, Chivashi's painting is basically like that. The Chivashi painting is very suitable for woodblock printing. And also when he paints, he had he had a template. Uh, he carefully planned uh, a draft uh, with a charcoal. Uh, every stroke, you know, he's, he, he had a plan. So it's a freestyle, but he paints uh, very carefully without uh, much spontaneity uh, in composition, but uh, you know, but he's a store uh, painting in calligraphy without uh, repeating strokes like uh, you have to do. Okay, 
let's say if we, um, I, I think uh, the natural way for me, I think it's still paint the light, the dark, because usually the Sumi painting or Chinese brush painting always uh, uh, start from the, the uh, dark. I mix a little rouge and the car uh, scarlet. You can also mix with vermilion, a little warm, you know, to make it a little, not too bluish. So this, we need a lot. So I make a pull of that. Just a, uh, usually it's it's better to mix several colors. You can even add yellow to it uh, if you want to make it warmer, a little warmer. Okay. So uh, I'll just do the the uh, uh, this one. So a falling branch. So this flower is about to fade, maybe it's kind of... Uh, we need to consider the composition, uh, so the gravity, uh, where the... Henry, the yes. Henry sorry for uh, interrupting you. Um, well, your sure painting I... is not visible. Okay, thank you. For right now me. we are seeing the, okay, now the I just screen. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So, Thank uh, you. Sorry. In our mind, you you can use charcoal if you want, like Chibashi does. He would uh, he would draw uh, each petal, but I I don't do that. I will just draw the center, maybe the center uh, petals, and then I will. Uh, he he had had some sub in like a sub center, like, like here. There's a little uh, group. So there's. Uh, uh, a little grouping, you know, some loose, some dance, some part, that, that's created a uh, very good rhythm, some dance and spots. Uh, you, you need to do like a, in five a group before you reload, th that you will create this kind of rhythm. And then the, the starting point is, uh, is here. If we number them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we call it eight positions of starting uh, a branch. This is number one, two, three, four, six, right? Seven, eight. Yes, number, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is number six. This is number six, starting and then it goes to, but uh, not going out. It's going to number eight, uh, but not, uh, and then go bending down and something. There's a but we don't do the, the stand yet. Uh, we we plant it. So there's a uh, leaf group there that, that uh, goes into the flowers. And there's a. I'll talk more about the, the leaves later when we, when we do it. Uh, okay. So the, there's a larger group here, medium group, maybe small group. The, is, if you consider the, the whole shape, not the, the individuals. And then you can use a, 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 a duster, something. Uh, I think I have a, or I didn't bring it. You can use a piece of uh, paper towel, maybe. Just dust it off a little bit. Just barely see the the the, the sketch. That would be helpful to uh, lay out the help to lay out the picture, so you don't end up. Uh, uh, you can make mistakes like here. I, I see I, I already made a mistake. The flower will be too small, so I want to correct that in my mind. Uh, maybe here. So I already see the problem uh, when I draw this, right? So you, you can dust it off and then just ignore that, uh, correct that. So this is the, the starting point, looks like uh, um, the center, right? And then um, you develop to our four directions. Um, it should be quite heavy because he he could have draw the I mean washed the background first. But uh, so that's it's very uh, like uh, if you if you use number system, this would be number nine or number eight maybe. Although the red is is. It's all. Uh, it's only like a number five compared to inks, but within it, if we if you give it like one scale uh, from one to ten, it would be dark. Yeah, and then the the background would be 
two or three, maybe something like that. Um, just like I said, uh, you draw the the pedals from outside in on the left side and inside out on the uh, on the other side. Okay, whatever you you however you hold the brush, it, you don't have to to change directions. He he will do this very slowly. Um, very sur surely, th so they are very sh uh, short marks, not uh, uh, very solid, very not drafty. Instead of uh, you know, you repeat, you, you you paint slowly, you draw slowly. Okay, and notice that the radiation is everywhere. It, it it's um, it's not uh, so that brings cohesion to to the flower you know it, it, it's all pointing to imaginative center or sub center there's some some sub center I call it that's the style of uh, his uh, his very uh, carefully planned um, he make uh, the variety in in uh, in unity right so there's a lot of variety, but not conflict to the the main uh, cohesion to the uh, integration of. Uh, say the flower is a little bit over. It's uh, because in the perspective or in the angle, you you have this kind of uh, distortion, but not to the extent like a, a you know like a Western perspective. But there. Are there is some kind of realism here. You see the the flower. He must have drawn uh, or studied the real flowers, right? Uh, so now I am looking at the outer shape. Try to create a nice nice shape of the the. the so this part is a little bit missing. So it doesn't matter uh, which you know the f the pa the individual for the outer shape is is a it's a uh, more important than uh, individual strokes. So don't be just when you paint the individual part, you need to keep an eye on the whole. Yeah, that's the the idea. My flower is not big enough. <coughs> you know, I can paint maybe paint another one instead of uh, enlarge it. Uh, so let's just let's just do that. Uh, that this kind of problem should be solved before uh, you, you start painting because I really not didn't do the uh, under underneath uh, pre preliminary drawing first. That's why you know the advantage of uh, having a template is very important. Uh, you can put the template behind the uh, under the the rice paper and do a quick uh, sketch. So he he has a lot of uh, as a commercial artist he has has saved lot of templates. So he'll just uh, duplicate those. Um, and uh, so you can s you can have some. Some different angled ones. Maybe we can do a uh, flowers a little bit like like the. Uh, we could just do like a, the side view flower uh, later. Maybe like the yellow one. Uh, but before we do the yellow, we need to, to put some um, dark leaves. So I'll use different uh, ink. Um, the di different uh, brush for ink. Ink in, in Chinese painting is a general term for uh, which include the color. So brush and ink uh, is, the, is the phrase with, uh, about the technique. Be more. It's the uh, effect created both by brush stroke and ink or color. So um, we we would make a dark gray. Because we'll do the veins in dark, right? So we we put some uh, water, 
around with it. And uh, you can have a gradation of a um, light gray and a dark gray. So something like that. And uh, I see that in this example here, the dark uh, near the flower is very dark, almost uh, as dark as the, the veins. You know, it, but veins still should be dark, a little darker. Uh, if you look at uh, this one, he used uh, uh, green, olive green. With, you know, you can mix uh, the. Uh, so we we try to make it simple. So we just use uh, gray. You can use a little yellow to blend with the. Uh, uh, in a, in a ink a little bit that makes a little bit greenish. So yeah, and then you can add a little indigo, but there's a, there's a still ink in it. Okay, um, I'm not sure if this painting is authentic or fake actually, um, because ninety percent uh, of them are uh, are faked. But this one, it says ni uh, ninety three years old. The chief actually um, looks like. A Maybe it's 70 or 80 years old <laughs> Chibesh style. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to draw um, the dark al uh, along the besides the the flowers to to contrast. Just like this, this part. So I'm going to put some dark leaves. And there's some leaves here. Okay. Oh. <coughs> and uh, you, if the color, the the brush is still wet, don't do the stems yet. Uh, you 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 keep doing the leaves until the br the brush is a uh, uh, little drier. Then you can draw the. Uh, stand with that dryer brush. So it depends on the situation on in the brush we do things properly. And you can you can have uh, uh, different shapes, uh, different uh, grouping here. So we have uh, let's say this this will be large and this should be medium. That's just make this a medium, medium group and we can have a little uh, jumper in between oh, that's a small group and this is another maybe large medium small you know could be uh, different uh, consideration and if the brush is too dry you can add just a tiny bit of uh, uh, ink to do the, the stems So now I add the the stain. Okay, and you can you can draw a yellow flower because uh, my flower is too small compared to the masters. And then to, it might be not reasonable to have one stem two different colors. So I have to add another stem later just to make a uh, give it a reason to. Why does the color change? Uh, so this is side view. All the petals are on the upper side, and uh, the center is more uh, short. It's shorter and dense. Still like that, and the petals on the. It's it's easy to to say, but uh, even me, you know, I tend to do all the petals in the same lens. Okay, so that that's a white or yellow flower. We, we, we just leave that, and then you can add another branch, maybe behind uh, this one. So that could be. Uh, I won't start from another point. You know, you can start from. Well, sometimes we do that. You can start from. So it will be two start two starting point. Uh, that's. 
little complicated composition, but you could you could do that. But in most cases, we we, we keep one dominant when um, if we don't write a lot in, in here, so you can add a little another branch. There's a, a leaf actually here that suggests the uh, painting outside outside the frame. I just realized that my my, my uh, camera didn't cover this corner. So you can yeah you can suggest more painting outside the frame. Don't be afraid to go outside the frame, and you can you can have a uh, let's just add a little bit more. The the leaves of the the chrysanthemum is very uh, challenge actually. A lot of people have problem, and uh, I if you look at the real leaves, like. Uh, they look like this, okay. They got deep notches, uh, like uh, cuts. And if I, if I, just paint the shape, it will be like that. So the, this cuts goes pretty deep, uh, but not to the extent like uh, uh, rose, right? Like a rose or wisteria. So they're leaflets, not leaflets. It's still a single leaf. But they got a uh, uh, lot of uh, notches. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, cuts. I call it uh, just gaps between uh, sections, maybe. So it could be like so. That's why we do it uh, not in one stroke, but uh, uh, four or five stroke or three stroke, uh, in multiple strokes, and then we'll combine them uh, into. Uh, a single leaf with uh, with veins, right? Like 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 that, and you can add more leaf veins. Um, but they're in a perspective. They are. Um, you don't have to paint the whole shape. Like uh, here in, in this handout uh, by my teacher, uh, he's just the the. You know, some leaves is a uh, down. Some leaves is a uh, uh, up. Like like that, right? Uh, some side view, some in the side view. So, and some are small near the the top. So like uh, like that, right? And then uh, you you can group them. Uh, they come in. Uh, I think it's a uh, three around a single. Uh, joint, yeah, so you can s you can you can paint some leaves in the in the front of uh, the the uh, s in the front of the stem and some behind, some in the in the s on the side. There are four. This one comes. This bottom one's four. Like the one on top. Like this one here. I see. Uh, you can you can. Use different uh, shade, uh, different tones, like the light ones uh, behind. So in in Chinese brush painting, dark is uh, in the front, light is uh, uh, behind. Understand? Just like a bamboo, you would do dark uh, in the in the front and the dark uh, light behind, in the back. Okay, and then you add the the veins when it's half. Have to have halfway dry. Um, I still haven't figured out how to do the <laughs> the yellow uh, or the white flowers. This uh, red. So probably I just add another parallel uh, line to to be to make it easy. Just to maybe you know. But it's, it's you you want to avoid that actually. The parallel, the completed parallel is not uh, not to. Uh, Good idea. So you need to try break that, <laughs> just hide it. So when I paint uh, leaves, I I more concerned with uh, the grouping than individual. 
individual leaves, right? And you can always um, add to the existing one with a, a different tone. It could be lighter or, or darker in, in, uh, instead of the same tone to, uh, to alter the shape, right? And then uh, it's use you can you can use a stiff brush, a small leaf vein brush like this to draw the uh, the veins. It's called leaf vein brush, small willow hair brush, and uh, you might want to dry a little bit because. But not completely dry. Okay, <laughs> when I use iron, it creates veins already, got pattern, and it, it's interesting. Um, I try to draw thinner than Chibaishi does because uh, I'm not um, a calligrapher like him. You know, he does a seal script, he's a seal engraving artist as well. Uh, he, his brush strokes are very powerful. So if your brush stroke is uh, weak, just uh, draw the line thinner, maybe. Uh, but it's still powerful, you know. You you can make uh, the line uh, very straight. You know, you don't have to curve. That indicate some uh, some power. But uh, chrysanthemum uh, leaves are kind of curvy, naturally. So maybe, unless you want the square style, the angular style, we do uh, tend to make cursive lines when we draw these chrysanthemum leaves, because they are curvy. Yeah. So uh, another idea is that you don't have to, uh, like a, a big shape like this, a blow, blow, blow. Uh, you can divide it into several leaves when you draw the veins. So you need to redefine, redefine your your uh, leaf shape at this point within uh, with the ve the veins. You can change directions. Uh, you know just think they're stacking together, so you don't have to really paint, uh, define every little little section, but uh, just uh, draw the, the impression of the uh, the group, group, like this overlap or um, stack t together, okay? And uh, let me, let me bring that sample painting here. So you, this painting actually is, is a good example. It, it has a it has pretty good um, clear uh, veins. You don't have to copy exactly, but uh, um, there's a center vein, a secondary vein. Uh, the center is the longest to the tip, and then the secondary maybe uh, five leaf le uh, sections, but uh, you don't have to do. D usually, this is three, right? And uh, just it's more important to indicate um, the direction. Maybe the direction is uh, uh, down. You do in this case, right? You just keep that um, that uh, unity. The tendency is going. The leaves are going towards the ground. So it's autumn time. So everything is uh, withered a little bit with uh, uh, early frost, morning frost or, or some, something like that. Uh, the cold weather is coming. Okay, now I'm going to draw the... I just wash this brush. It's a red brush with uh, um, very diluted, maybe like a 
2, great 2, to shade it. And uh, when I shade this, I, uh, I don't have to paint individual petals. I just use the side of the brush, just do it quickly. You can leave some uh, f uh, white in between strokes, maybe just the, the same idea, you know, if you do this first, you just dot, dot uh, some big dots instead of doing the whole silhouette. And uh, for the light, if you if, it, if it they're white, you use uh, a little bit uh, green, gray, ju just to shade a little bit. Or if it's yellow, you, then you use yellow. So I'll just keep it white. Just It will turn lighter. I, I just kind of shade a little bit to create some depth. Um, can you add more ink? Uh, probably not. But uh, sometimes I do. I, I wet a little bit, maybe, um, and then just um, add a little more. F this is called fubi. Um, fubi means uh, reinstatement. Right? Reinstatement. Fu um, Chang Shuo, the, uh, the Shanghai school artist, uh, always does this. Um, and Qi Bai Shi does not do it. He, he, um, he always planned his painting well. He, he doesn't like uh, f uh, repeated uh, add ons. Okay, retouch. You can, you can just add, uh, you know, adjust a little bit. Just if it's too flat, you know, you, you could still add a little darks or light to adjust to reinstate to create some uh, more depths to adjust. Okay, that's the basic idea. Uh, look at uh, this painting. I, I, I think uh, the lesson to learn is that we need a good planning, especially proportion of flower and the leaf. This flower is too small. <laughs> okay, I don't give myself a pass. I'm going to destroy that. Um, let's do the, do the sample painting now. Uh, or the, the crab. I will let me talk a little bit about that. Let me see what the time. Uh, yeah, I'll do a cooked uh, crab like uh, this sample painting by uh, Ping's uh, mother. Uh, and uh, later I will do a live one. Uh, have you s have a chance to watch the video that uh, my wife Victoria did the other day for, for our class? Uh, we bought some live crabs uh, for this class, but we didn't harm them for making the video, you know. They are quite expensive. If you are, uh, I think in New York you probably can get, in only in large cities of this country, they, they import from China directly um, live because they, uh, the taste is very different uh, from uh, frozen ones. Um, Harry, uh, a few uh, participants uh, saw the video uh, Victoria made and they loved it. They loved it. Okay, I'm glad to hear because I know there are some animal writers uh, wrote uh, some uh, feedback. They don't like uh, they don't like uh, the treatment of uh, crabs, uh, live crabs. But uh, I think uh, uh, it's a cultural, and so we crab is not uh, considered a nice. Uh, animal, uh, not I mean not person personally. Uh, uh, how do you say that? A metaphor of uh, bad p bad people. As I mentioned last time, the four the gun of four, gun of four in the Cultural Revolution was uh, considered uh, was uh, com uh, depicted as uh, four crabs in uh, 1976 autumn festival. Everybody paints the gun of four. Uh, like a four, ma a four, uh, three male, w one female, to s to uh, represent the Ghana four, um, and celebrate the end of Cultural Revolution. Everybody painted this uh, in that year. Um, so they, they because the crop 
uh, walk sideways. Is, uh, in Chinese, we, we have a term describe person the hegemony uh, as a hen xing ba dao, right? Hegemony, uh, they walk like a, uh, a crab to uh, take the, full, the whole road, uh, don't consider others. You know, the, this, this is a manner, a bad manner. So the, it's a, if you walk like a, like a crab, you understand? So that's why uh, Qi Bai Shi also paint uh, crab uh, during the World War II uh, when Beijing was captured by the Japanese and the Japanese uh, occupation. Qi Bai Shi uh, stopped uh, um, taking any commissions, I think. Uh, so he, he painted crabs and saying, Xiu uh, Xiu Kan Kan or something like that. I, I put my, my uh, hands in, in my sleeves uh, and uh, watch you um, can, can and uh, uh, to see how long uh, you can walk like that on the street for, for, um, for long. You know. So he, he, he's, he's painted the crabs like uh, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the Japanese occupation on the street. <laughs> you know, they walk on the street like a crab. Uh, so they, they, they use this kind of metaphor uh, in his painting. Uh, you understand that? So we don't really think, uh, we, we eat them, finally. So it's an expression of uh, um, victory you know, in the end, right? The man over, over the... the uh, uh, but, you know, crab is very... I, I know they, they are very good, they could be very good pets of some... Anyway. Um, so, so may I just say that the crabs were not mis treated uh, to all the people who thought that the crabs were mistreated they were not mistreated yeah that's a pro camera we, we added uh, when they come they are um, kind of bonded we immediately loosen it then <laughs> we at least we, we give them you know good treatment before we consume them anyway um, it's just uh, yeah I, I think we we didn't abuse them when we make the 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 the, the video for it. I, I I hope it it, it helps you to understand the beauty of uh, the the uh, meeting crab because they are very different than uh, the other uh, sea crabs, right? They they have a nice sh uh, shape and the claw we call it. Uh, Harry, uh, Harry, Harry uh, crab. They got a, a dark, uh, hairy, like a so very suitable for ink painting. It's dark when they when we paint it. So um, I'm, I'm going to do the crab for you. For the, this, this is a cooked crab, so we don't um, indicate any motion. We just do. Uh, the shell first. You can you can start from the center. Uh, you're using side brush stroke with uh, vermilion. You can add a little bit uh, dark, dark root. Um, or uh, we got uh, the scallop, scallop. Yeah, you can do it in three strokes, like uh, uh, partially overlapping, uh, like that. And Chi Bai Shu would do very slowly, right, like that. I think I got the same size the Shuan. Oh, unsized Shuan. Unsized Shuan is what uh, he used. Okay. Um, you can, if it's mm, too flat, you can add a little dark accent. It's, it's okay. When it's uh, wet, wet into wet. Yeah. Um, then I reload the brush. I use a uh, super wash brush. It's a very uh, absorb. I mean, it loads a lot of uh, color, so I don't have to reload. I don't like uh, the um, dry brush in this case. Dry brush strokes. Yeah. So we we add. A little. You can actually mute the root. Uh, I mean, we'll do that later with uh, uh, ochre or amber. Okay. Uh, let's finish this one, the darkest in the front first. This is hot red, so we're going to just use vermilion mostly. 
a little bit uh, dark. Yeah. Then, then the four legs on one side, then you start from the bottom one. Just do the, and make the brush a little flat. One, two, three, four. And then uh, this side, it could be a little overlapping. Um, you start from the bottom first, right? Okay, so one, two, three. Actually, I see only three, right? Because of the overlap, it's a four and a three. It's okay. Um, I can use this. Uh, uh, yeah, just continue with this brush. I think it's uh, in the front, so we need to finish this before we do the the, the one behind. And then the second section uh, of the leg is a little thinner, maybe. And you can do the long. Uh, kind of nail thing, uh, sharp section uh, later with with uh, uh, darker color. So basically, the, you don't see the you don't see much here, just like that. Uh, it could be a loose one, but it should fold together more like that. So we can load a little root to finish the nails. Okay, just a bit. Um, the the one on the left, I add a little. You can add a little um, umber, or I just add yellow ochre here. I got in in the plate, and a little root maybe just a accent. And I I need to keep the uh, the shape in in the oval. I, I don't have a plan as a situation does, but uh, we, because we got this uh, sample painting here, uh, we know what's going to expect. Right? Oh, I forgot the, the cloud, in this case, is in the front. Uh, and then this one is up. So I will add the cloud later for that one. So this one is on the side, like this. They're not raised because they, they are already cooked. Okay. And then uh, this one I will add. Uh, so th this three are not uh, the same color, right? And uh, it should be lighter than the front in, in, uh, in perspective. It should be a little lighter and drier could be. You know. So, but it's the same same uh, color as the first one. So and keep it flat on the on the on the plate. So just do and partly outside of the paper. So that's always a challenge for beginners and uh, students to, to, to be afraid to break the frame. So, and then just for, um, if you're using this kind of paper, you don't have to avoid crossing because the first layer will prevent it from um, the, the second stroke will not destroy the first one. So that that's okay to overlap, right? And you don't have to do the the other side because you don't see that. That's the cloud, and I will make up that big cloud in the front. You can use more rouge, but actually uh, they they got dark. It's nicer if, uh, not to use ink in the dish, but there's some dark. I think she used on the. Yeah, on the, the white part, and the, the, the eye is dark, right. right? That's the claws. Oh, here I forgot the legs. Let's try that a little bit. This should be a little more yellow color. I forgot. And then just draw this. You can. Uh, you should start from the bottom one. one. And it goes like that. So the number actually is reduced because uh, you want to make it smaller and less important than the front one in hierarchy. All right. Just do it like that. Um, I noticed that uh, Chi Bai Shi uh, make the eye, the red. Uh, crab cooked out crab eye in, in a dash, um, so they rest in peace, not 
not popping up like uh, the live one. Um, so we, we make it like sleeping like that. And like a, um, Guo, Guo Lao Shi, I will call uh, Master Guo. Uh, she's also considered a master in Xi Lai Shi style painting. She's the best among his student. That's uh, according to Qi Lai Shi himself. Um, so I'll use uh, a little darker ink, just a horizontal stroke for the eye, and then uh, the claw goes down. Let's make this a little bit higher. Right. Now I'm going to draw the pl the plate. Um, you can use a uh, lighter ink, and then uh, she used pretty heavy color, beautiful. Uh, turquoise uh, blue. It's the, the mineral blue color, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll use that. Okay, so we we'll draw a plate. You can make it if, um, like uh, we talked last time, the plate has to, the opening is, uh, is round or oval. Just like that. One stroke. Very challenge. And then it goes back and goes around here. Look at like that. And in my case, I have to go that far. And then I use a little darker ink to draw the bottom. So start a little narrower and then press down to the shady part. You can you can dry the brush so you control the smearing better. And then the bottom is, she has a little curve, but the chi bai should usually just do a flat. Like uh, I mentioned, this is a fork tradition. He, he's um, a carpenter, a fork artist. Uh, in fork art, they, they kept the primitive human uh, thought, you know, the, for the, for depicting the, uh, the shape of utensils. Uh, and we talked, we discussed uh, the, f the difference between them and uh, the cubism. So they are not so complicated actually <laughs> as cubism sees the word. And uh, um, I'm not going to do this uh, little uh, parts. Uh, I just draw the cup of wine. Because uh, I, I realized that this is a small penny, small pa smaller paper, so I don't have room for the for that uh, claw and the leg. Uh, I just draw this cup. Because uh, we have to do two. Because there's a saying in Chinese: "One man does not drink." You have to have a, com a partner or uh, companion when you drink to talk. Because drink is time to to chat with the family or friends. Right. So the again you have to draw this the the f the mouth of the of the opening of the cup very round. Oh, you know, and then um, a flat relatively f a flat a flat bottom to, to make it uh, it feels uh, stable on the table. On the so you feel the table is flat. Yeah, just like uh, the, this is a pers this is a Chinese perspective. Okay, and you can we can draw a little line line there. Um, on the top, let's do the flowers. I'll probably just do one or two uh, instead of uh, five. Let's do half maybe on on this side. We can draw. A little center to begin with, okay, and then um, the bottom. So this is the top one. So 
we really don't, don't should see much at the center I think that it's above the eye level <laughs> just uh, like this big yeah it's kind of hard to to make that uh, uh, the pedals should deviate from the center and then uh, become longer and longer so the the end is still in the you know uh, hidden behind this is not uh, the the end of the outer layer does not start from here but start from there from the stand right in the, the imaginative center here that that's a that's a difficult a tricky part you need to what I'm talking about is this if you if you um, if you think if you draw all the pedals like uh, stacking you know so they're not blind to the center if you this this is the center and you do the pedals like this I just exaggerate uh, the possible problem so you, you so instead you should draw the the pedals you know, imaginative center is there so that's the just like half but this ha this half is longer than the mid middle one uh, right so so that imaginative end is is still in the same place in the center in the middle you understand if you do this it will be more more uh, real okay and uh, I'm going to do the flower uh, in the in the uh, quick way maybe so I do the washes first see if that helps just a experiment um, so I put the flowers I just put some colors in the middle of the this in the center of the flower maybe I do have room for all the flowers I guess so that's just this is a half view and we want to make this big and this one just touching each other so I then I I can use it a hair dryer try a little bit Maybe we'll just do the leaves. Look like the rose right now. Huh? Well, it will become uh, chrysanthemum if when we add the uh, rings. Ah, uh, the pedal lines or outlines. Um, these are too dark, maybe, but we want to add some ink chi to 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 create some uh, contrast with the to balance the yellow, golden, uh, the orange color there. So some grouping, so like and uh, dry the brush. Draw the stands. It's too dark. Should be lighter. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a paper towel. I just used my paper. Okay, and. Uh, Use light gray ink. You can draw another color flowers, the, the yellow one. Actually, it's pretty dark. Pretty dark there. 
this time I don't do the yellow first, I, I just uh, outline it first and then we will... I should start from the center, I forgot. So the center is... the, the petals are shorter and you only see the tip part maybe. Okay, then they start to open it from the center. That's very important to keep in mind the radiation and kind of loosening towards the outer part. Okay. Idea completes with 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 absence of the stroke. Okay. <coughs> and uh, we'll just. Try a little bit. Uh, let me see. I can't try the leaves yet. Um, just the, like a. I don't really press. Just try a little bit to save some time. Um, I'll use a smaller um, uh, liner, like a heavy dot brush. I just use a pure, huge color. Uh, it should be carmine. I use. A, I use a little rouge and the uh, scarlet, the it, same color to get the, the kind of vibrant red. And you can have a little bit rouge on, on some parts, you know, some some parts is uh, lighter. You can still you can still add more color later, so don't be bound by this shape. Uh, this is just a, a placeholder at the first, you know, when you when you start, so you can have the petals outside this shape. And that's a, uh, keep that center in mind and uh, derive all the petals from there. If the petal is too too uh, too thick, too fat, you can divide it with a, a double line, maybe something like that. So you don't have to worry about the uh, individual stroke, but the the, f the overall feel of it is more important. Okay, now um, I'll draw this one uh, with a, uh, you can have a yellow center, but uh, Master Chi's uh, style, he, he, he just draw a little, kind of little seed part with, with ink. <coughs> Most people probably would do it with uh, yellow, because uh, in, in this uh, Classical literary style painting ink is uh, is considered color. Could be could be uh, just ink. You know, you can dot pollings of uh, flowers with ink in, in plum blossom. We probably did that already, right? I'm trying to feel the rhythm, um, the movement, the the uh, the chi. He he's a, a um, follower of it, Wu Tang Shuo. He, he uh, in sh the Shanghai school through a mentor uh, Chen Chen Banding. Um, Chen Banding was a student of. Uh, Wu Chang Shuo in Shanghai, and he, he later lived in Beijing, where Qi Bai Shi came uh, after he's uh, 60 years old. So he's, he actually started to, to learn new style after he's 60. He's obscure, his uh, works uh, most last uh, before 60. 
65 I think the oldest that probably we have um, and he become a master after his 80s maybe the best is done in the 90s so we still have a lot of time <laughs> so Chilesh is my life role model um, I try to uh, we have this program called the creative aging so Chilesh is the per perfect role model for creative aging the next program you're going to uh, have to sign up uh, is creative aging like a cheap actually. And also, um, his uh, best student, uh, Guo Xiu Yi, uh, Ping's mother, started to learn with under Qi Bai Shi um, in, in her 40s without any previous background in art. Uh, and she became a master in this style within three years. Uh, some of the, this painting are done the second year, some are done the, the first year in he, her book. Um, so Chi Bai Shi is a good teacher. He, 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 is, you know, he let students copy his, his work creatively. So you don't have to copy every stroke, but uh, uh, it's good to copy the template, you know, the, the composition he doesn't uh, really. He when he saw a composition good, he will ask uh, uh, other students to make outlined, outlined uh, uh, template for for their own. So that's uh, and then write notes, color notes and stroke notes on the side. Instead of painting, he copy everything in ink and the color. He 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 asks his student to do outlined template um, sketch or preliminary sketch for their own study. So that's a good, very good um, traditional method of uh, teaching. So you, you start from copy and after you, you do enough copy you can do live, um, painting live flowers and live animals like the shrimps, lobsters, and then uh, to create from your own mind, painting from heart. So painting f um, from a master is the place to begin. And if you start with a high master, you you more likely become a middle master yourself. If you you know just start with a social uh, teacher, then you you have. Uh, less chance to become a master. That's a traditional saying. Okay, um, let's do a little color wash and we'll finish this. I, I see it's a little pattern. Do I see? Oh, not pattern, just the color. A little pattern on the cup also. So some blue color. So how we get that? If we don't have the first grade, um, first grade uh, mineral blue which is intense you can add little um, a little cello blue cello blue or indigo dark blue to to the light blue opaque blue here so you, you get a, a little stronger there so I just mixed the dark Fellow blue is that, and then um, just draw the side of the plate in, in this color. And just one stroke, you know. It's okay to have some white there. And then use the remaining color to draw with just a tip. Uh, this kind of, we call it a happy cloud. It's like a like this, just it's like an S shape. I mean, probably not to make it easy. It's like a like this. Okay. What do you call this? Uh, upside down. 
something. Like not properly, but yeah. so this this brush is too big for that. Just to use a smaller brush. If you like. So I'll use a smaller brush to draw the patterns on this. And there's a little curvy, so you can draw like half. And then a complete pattern, another half, or yeah, just that's it. And you can just draw some S, whatever, you know, just the impression of something, like a pattern, a, a, a belt, a band of uh, something. And uh, uh, you can put a color for the one. It's a, to, if it's a Socket or something it should be brownish, I guess. Let me just use a, a little brown color. It could be tea color. Just a little bit. This one is not the same, it should be the same same shape. Okay. Um, it's a bit it's smeared. Uh, that's in two layers. So you want to blot it before it gets too before it's too late. This is too late. I I, I should blot it before it's smeared. Okay. And uh, flowers uh, on the left should be a little white, a little yellow. I think that the ochre color is. Is it is appropriate? So we we'll just use a uh, little ochre, a little red, not really orange color. I think light ochre. And you can use you can use um, yellow. And the uh, the one on the right, we we'll just use a little bit. Uh, Green color, mm. some dirty color. Let me see. It should be a little cooler than this. You can use the little gray, blue. Mm. It should be a little greenish, but very light. Let me see. Oh, I don't really see green. It's uh, it's uh, it's light, light um, warm color. I think. Anyway, I'll just use a little cool color. Just leave the white. Squeeze out the white with uh, uh, this. Shading. Over, uh, I'll call it a highlight. Maybe just you know over 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 the lines. There's something in the middle. I think. Okay. We leave some pop some some um what well, to you know the idea of a bump some pump pump some bump some uh hollow. That's the idea. Okay. And you can you can still add more. Pink if you need it to eliminate some unwanted white, but uh, it's good to have some some uh, incompleteness. Like that. All right. So uh, if not intense enough, I think you can make uh, the flowers, you know, some darker, some lighter so he she used uh, some some accent to make the dark part a little more shady mm -hmm. and you can make the dark part with a little shady so the between the petals this and it, that's the root part of the 
some kind of make it pop a little bit. Some accident, accenting or some shadow. That's that's it. And then do time to write. I think this one we should do just uh, uh, sign with a shot. In, 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 in Short, um, short description because uh, this is a cop maybe you know in Shivashi style but a copy of uh, his student so we don't have to write to uh, homage or uh, to Shivashi we just uh, the homage you pay to a grandmaster not to, to a student so you don't you never say a homage to Henry okay or to Victoria. <laughs> Victoria already rejected that uh, in her class. I won't make it clear that uh, you only uh, credit the grandmaster. You can say a Chibashi style or something like that. Um, okay, so we'll just write. Uh, oops, I got a dot there. I don't know what's that. It's from the bottle, ink bottle, I think. Um, so what we could do. So in this case, let's see what we missed. Mm. Any ideas? What we can fix um, that? It could be... Make it a fallen leaf. <laughs> oh, fallen leaf. Good idea. Our pedals. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. You're very smart. That that that's actually a very good idea. I like that. Yes. You know, foreign leaf and the pedal maybe. You know, be very careful next time. This the ink bottle had had problem last time in my landscape class. Um, yeah, this this little dust doesn't bother me. Well. So we can just make a fallen leaf. Yeah, and that really bring the um, echoes to the top very well. Very good. Oops, it's too dark. Um, yeah, that yeah, fix it. Yeah, I I love this uh, this touch. It's actually better than the um, class. Yeah, and we should we should have something that echoes the. That. Then we sign. I think here we got another dot. We will cover it with with the seal. So we just sign here, like uh, master sample paintings. Okay. Uh, we can write the year. I think that's uh, and the autumn. Well, this brush, this paper is really absorbent. Uh, or my brush is too wet, so I I have to dry the brush to continue. It's almost to the cup. I have to use a very small seal. to make this shape a little interesting. Um, that's it. Let's 
show you the whole thing. The corner. Let me see if there's uh, any space. And this is another thing. Yeah, he'll put a Ren Chang Shou because uh, um, this, uh, this is this the chrysanthemum and wine symbolize uh, uh, longevity. So if we have a mood sales has to do with longevity, we can put the so but I just leave it to for now. Um, so we have like a half half an hour. Uh, I would do another live craft with uh, um, Victoria if she <laughs> if you want to see her live painting here. Uh, so I'll I'll uh, ask Victoria to paint the crab and I'll do uh, the f the flower first. Okay. So I probably do. We already did the the red one. So I'll do a flower like my teacher does here, the the white flower, a uh, yellow yellow uh, flower, and then I'll. Ask Victoria to finish uh, the painting with uh, crops. Victoria, get ready. Thank you. And uh, I have another sample from my teacher here. It's a uh, um, chrysanthemum with uh, bamboo racks. That that can also. So we create a natural kind of uh, environment for the crab. Okay, I'll just do this here. Right. So I'm going to draw the the petals first. You could do in composition. My teacher sometimes do the leaves first because the leaves really set it, set the uh, painting, so the painting, you know that how large the, paint, the flower will go. Uh, so I'll just do some leaves to start with that. And, uh, so that's uh, my group. Right, so I'll do some small, just uh, to exhaust it, the brush. Brush, and then use the the remaining ink, maybe a little adjustment in the pa palette to do the stems. And uh, because we have something underneath, I want to have a falling flower like that. And then one going up, we can have some little ones here, and it's good to have some little baby flowers like this. This this we call it uh, like a uh, shreds of a uh, uh, we call it the tunic or uh, like a potato shred shreds like a long shreds right kind of it's different than the the first one we did. So this is a, a com combination brush uh, made of a rabbit rabbit hair. Half um, s stiff, half soft. Uh, pay more attention on the sh outer shape. Same idea uh, as we talked <coughs> earlier. You need to radiate the all the petals from from the center. Easy to to say. It's hard to to, to imagine. You know to keep. So this petals the out groove out from the center, not to in the middle. Radiate. If, if you do the radiation, 
correctly, you don't get the coherence. And then on that, you, you vary a little bit the, the not symmetrical, so you try not to paint the flower like a pattern. Um, it's it's a good idea to have some overlapping, so maybe we need another flower to so we'll do this bottom one first. I think I'm going to do uh, all of this. This, this one here, going down at the top one was the grass hoping and kind of <coughs> I try to keep the the petals the same. So you, if you vary, you know some flowers become too short. Or too long, it, it doesn't look like the same plant. You have to introduce another another plant. So, so this, in this case, it should be the same long petal flower. I hope I leave enough room for the crab. this one. Plus, uh, 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 on, on at the the joints of the. If you look at the real flowers, you notice this fuzzy. And my teacher is very sensitive to that. He would observe and point it out when we when we learn that. Some small tiny leaves. Time to Victoria to paint the crops. We 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 will go back to maybe paint to uh, right to the veins, but I don't think uh, we can do that now. To it. So Victoria, can you add some crops for me? Yeah, you can come with the. Uh, Light ink, is that okay to just use ink? But this paper is very absorbent. Be careful. Uh, <laughs> you want some... Uh, some uh, uh, you have the... Uh, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you can um, use that paper to blot. Blotting is very necessary. Let me take it, shall we? So welcome, Victoria. <laughs> so um, life, which means um, the color is not red, first of all. <laughs> yeah, it's green. Yeah. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, you got this. Where is the ink? Where is the ink? Here. Yeah. Consistent. 
different. Yeah, the shell, back shell, uh, and the, the life one, the other point is the uh, four pair of legs uh, should be um, a little bit, you know, four, one, two, three. The fourth one cannot see, it probably over, overlap a little bit, and the, this side can be uh, the life one. Uh, when it's walking a little bit like opened. It's still going upward. That and that then. <laughs> One side is bended, one side stretch to walk sideways. This side cannot really see, and then um, the reason why we do that is try to introduce the uh, ink painting for this advantage to do this because there is a hairy hairy um, cloud <laughs> like that so mitten. two piece oh okay you call mitten <laughs> like the big mitten a little bit wider out, uh, out turn out to the uh, the body the back shell so for like the big dot this side this side and that one can only see one probably so very Freestyle, do that. And then, can you use your can you change it to the small brush to do the eye? And the, the triangle, like two uh, strokes for just doing the, uh, the club. Club, this part. Yeah, that's about. Sometimes you see the a little bit um through the, uh, to show the thickness of the this kind of this style of the crab, and uh, um, see through the the belly shell. So something like that. The line, the lines here. Okay. Thanks, Victoria. Um, I will just use the remaining ink to finish the the um, bamboo. 
bamboo fence or rack, whatever you call it. Uh, there's no bamboo, just uh, the uh, stick. Yeah. And we can draw from the top down. A dry brush. So this one goes uh, behind it. The crown. So we just add it there. And we can do another one on the side. And this one is a bit dark. I think generally speaking, because we want the bamboo. Uh, the dry bamboo tends faded, yeah, so it should be lighter than the leaf. So, yeah. Generous speaking. I just paint uh, this, this long strokes, maybe just suggest uh, the follow the trend of the, the joint foliage. suggestion of the things and uh, create an, a uh, uh, poetic uh, feeling that's the idea uh, we call that ji huang xie fei time of uh, uh, flowers ten, ten, uh, yellow flower bloom and uh, the crab become uh, mature Dry hand painting, you can sign it separately, or just the one person uh, will indicate the. I'll just write it for here. Thank you. 
mid autumn of the uh, year of the ox. Um, and I think it's uh, the music one, right? I forgot. Yeah, it's the music one. Crab, crab, uh, fat means mature. Yeah, uh, f flower, uh, chrysanthemum, yellow, crabs, fat, time. It's a uh, uh, joint hand. Collaboration. Collaboration. Okay. And we should put uh, two seals there. Will we can you bring out your seal? Can you go to my seal. The large seal. Thank you for your patience <laughs> of this, uh, this uh, uh, demo, watching this demo. Uh, now you can uh, unmute yourself if you have any questions or comments. <laughs> Henry, can you show us the vein of the chrysanthemum? The vein? The vein of the leaves. The, the leaf. vein of oh, the vein. Okay. Um, the question. Okay. The, you just want to see the leaf, not the, the shape of the... Okay, let's no, I'm having problem with the the leaf. How to mm -hmm. to okay. get the vein painted? Yeah. Um, so the 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 leaf is shaped like this. You understand? Right? They they come with this kind of yeah. deep uh -huh. notch. And I saw you 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 you, you can do um, with a separate strokes like like this. So this is a, a downward leaf, and you can you can also have a side view. Like, uh, like that. Uh, so suppose this is the, the same. Uh, you can have a, uh, uh, and the the it's more important to to kind of make a group, like a you know to form a a uh, group. Don't don't worry about the individual leaf at the first. The, you know you can make a you can think this is a triangular shape or a diamond shape or something like that. And then you um, define the veins. So this, this is the center, this is the, the secondary veins, right, like that. And then you, you draw these uh, side veins, right? I'll say. So it's more like, uh, like this. Um, don't don't draw like too straight. You know, it it, it could be a style, but uh, more um, realistically, draw like that, and then uh, smaller sections. You know, could be just. And remember, the the tip is more uh, the the f the this part is more. It's closer and shorter, like this. It should be closed. So never 
never draw veins like this. I see people do that all the time. <coughs> you understand? Uh, uh -huh. Draw it towards the center, towards the center. Instead of, so do this, not, not, not this. So th this is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some other problems I see is uh, everybody uh, tend to draw veins like uh, uh, in the middle. So th that's uh, not, not wrong, but uh, uh, without perspective. And uh, it becomes boring. So you can, you can consider the perspective. And you can, you can even go outside, outside the uh, initial stroke. This, this. For example, you can, re you can redefine it. That's what I always do. Um, how to do that? You can divide one into two, or you can, you can change directions a little bit. You know, it's, it's just. Uh, if you go outside <laughs> the stroke, the original stroke, you will have more freedom. Um, you know. But to, the, to some extent, if, if everywhere is outside, then it will be, uh, it, it will look too rough. So you can have some strokes like, like uh, you know, going outside the, the round um, shape, the original shape. Okay. Um, let, let, let's compare. Let, let's compare with it with the uh, other leaf, like a uh, rose. Or, or um, you probably learned also the uh, peony, like we, we probably learned from the other class. The, the last class we had. Okay, the peony is uh, like this. It has nine sections. Um, each section has three strokes. Right? They all come from a single stand. Like that. But you don't have to do a lot, nine. Right? That's a, a peony flower. And the rose is uh, uh, like this. Uh, this is a wisteria, probably. Wisteria, a rose. A uh, little rounder, but you don't have to. You can just do it in a square. But five or s seven, maybe. Something like that. So this is more like a, uh, a leaflet, and like um, a feather shape. And the chrysanthemum. Um, is different. First of all, they, they got this deep cuts and notches, but not to the extent as uh, the roses. So they're still just like one, one leaf. <laughs> but you don't have to draw the depict the shape yet. So when you when you define it uh, with the uh, uh, veins, you will bring them together. But in the first, we we. We capture that kind of feel, the, the cuts, you know, the sections of the, the leaf with a smaller brush. So you can do a lot of small brush like this, and then you you go back with uh, uh, veins, like you ask, to bring them together. So you know, some some leaf, some strokes could be very loose, and then you can it could be like a like that, so then you can draw the vein to to make a complete shape, right? And the veins should be much darker. That is probably pure ink usually. If not pure ink, maybe nine or eight. Okay, let me do this again. So this is more rounded, the chrysanthemum veins, it's, a, it's a rounded. 
And some artists uh, exaggerate that, that feel. So it, it's more you know, just like you half circles uh, to create that kind of uh, feel. Uh, you don't have to s really define all the uh, realistic uh, structure, but some of them could be more uh, realistic. Some just uh, a feeling of uh, of that. So you you can go just uh, just practice this kind of uh, some larger. Then the, for rows, you, you just need to do one, like, like that, or wisteria. And the uh, peony. Peony is longer, right? The peony, the um, it's a, uh, yeah, the, the grass peony is longer. The, the tree peony is not that long, but it, it's different shape. It, it, it doesn't curl like it's not as curly as a peony is just you know flat more flat like that and with uh, the chrysanthemum is more curly so you you will see the leaves is kind of uh, curled uh, inward or uh, downward like that and you, you should capture that kind of feel I think uh, I, I I we do have the chrysanthemum in our I forgot to bring you the real one, but you can access it uh, easily from your local uh, nursery. <laughs> or, uh, they, they will sell it uh, in supermarket during the uh, Thanksgiving holiday season, right? Uh, so you can take a look at those. Yeah. So Henry, there was a request yeah. to see the close up of the writings. Yeah. Oh, uh, the did, last yes. right here? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, let me explain a little bit. This is the year, the season, uh, autumn, mid-autumn. Okay. Is it focused? <coughs> yeah, the, uh, you can write this uh, on one, one line. <laughs> I separate it into the Shinto means uh, Year of Ox, Zhongqiu, um, Mid Autumn. And this is uh, the chrysanthemum yellow. Uh, let me write it in, in standard script maybe for you, for those who read Chinese. My ink is got exhausted. I just. Uh, if you just write a short uh, date, it would be Xin uh, Chou. As we mentioned uh, earlier, this is the the uh, code for zodiac um, year S uh, in the 60 year cycle system. This is only repeats every 60 year, so that you can easily f because in one man's life lifespan, you only have two chances to to pass one. Uh, one of the same uh, code, co coding system of this uh, in this system. Uh, one is with the year you born, and then next is when you reach 60 years old. It, most of us will not reach 120, right? So that's the Xin Chou means uh, this particular ox year um, in the 60 year cycle. Uh, Chiu means. Uh, um, Autumn. And you can write uh, mid, mid, to mid, mid uh, autumn, if you want. Okay. Or you can write uh, another uh, word. Chufen means uh, uh, what's the the, the geo uh, uh, geo geometry? <laughs> what's that? The, the day and the light evenly divide. So this means uh, even, even. To there's another season mark we just passed. Um, so the, if you can you can use either 
for the date. And uh, I write this phrase because I I think there's poem in my in my check. I, I may check on, on Google later, but uh, I just heard this. Ju Huang. Is yellow. Um, chrysanthemum turned yellow. This just means bloom. Xie. Yeah. This is a xie. Means a crab. Fei. Means a fat. Uh, here, mature. Um, and time, the time of this uh, yellow chrysanthemum and the uh, mature crab. Um, and then your name and uh, uh, the if you have if you if you uh, so you write whatever your name um, and then uh, you can write this character zu means created, created or made zu. Creation, create, create, to create, create it. So, um, if uh, two person or more than one person, multiple person, you, you say 合作, means uh, collaborated. Two person collaborated. So this is the description. You you can collaborate yes. with someone who is uh, in the mail, you know. You, so uh, one artist will paint the flower and then send it to, in the envelope to another person, um, and then um, well, you you know, well, well some uh, we had a like a long time ago we have a scroll that passed around uh, among artists in, in a group in a forum, and then everybody painted a little bit and with their own signature though. Um, so that that's a that's a custom uh, of uh, collaboration, uh, joint-handed painting during a time of uh, a celebration or gathering. We always do that um, for 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 painting artists or calligrapher to uh, socialize. Yeah, just have some idea when we have chance to meet <laughs> in the future. We will do that. Okay. Any other questions? Can I see the one you wrote in the script? Did you move the top paper and so that can I see your uh -huh. writing underneath? Okay. This is Kathleen. Is no, this the, the last class? Is this oh. the last class? Kathleen, this is the last oh, class okay. for this uh, okay. mid-autumn uh, festival session. Okay. The next series of class uh, featuring the paintings of Master Qi Bai Zi will start next week. And that is the Creative Aging uh, series. It will take place at the same time same day, Tuesdays, uh, for seven consecutive weeks. Mm -hmm. And registration is open. Look at my email, and uh, registration link is there. OK, thank you very much. You're welcome. So Henry, it's, uh, it's already uh, past uh, time. Do you want to see people's uh, painting in one uh, screen, or we are going to end today's class? Um. Yeah, let's take a group shot, okay? Okay, I'm going to remove you from the spotlighting. And anyone who would like to show your work, remember that uh, it's um, being recorded. It will be on YouTube, uh, living there for a while. So if you want to show your work and don't mind uh, being recorded, please do. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Let me make a screenshot. screenshot. Great. 
Let me see. If I would, do we have more pages? Oh, we got two pages. Mostly I'm for page one. Great. So one more time. One. Oh, second page has a lot of beautiful. Uh -huh. I see more on the second page than the first page. Really? I see mostly on the first page. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing work. Thank you. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, there everybody... is one on the third page. Oops, no. Nope. Yeah. Let me go back to the first page. Uh, I, yeah, just uh, from your thumbnail, uh, I I see a lot of people doing very good. Susan, Mary, you you did very, very nice, and I see John Sim Park, very good, and Sherry Ho. Uh, great, uh, Bami one completed. So many people completed all three. I mean, all two uh, elements. Very nice. Yeah, some just did the flowers and oh, beautiful, Marti Ma Martin, Martin, uh, Martin. You did very nice. Yeah, I see on the corner there. Beautiful Chibaishu style. So we'll learn more Chibaishu style. Do you like it? Uh, so far, great. Yeah, so um, next week we'll learn uh, a bowl of a cherries. Bowl of cherries. Uh, a bowl of cherries, which is uh, uh, an a English song title. If you are not familiar, you can search on YouTube to hear it. Um, it's a very old um, English song. English song. Yeah. And Bob Ch and Chibashi did a, a very good uh, painting with uh, that uh, cherry blossom. I mean, not cherry blossom, cherry fruits. Uh, so we're going to learn next week. Thank you and see you.